He's wanted for murder, the alleged sexual assault of a child, and most recently for a shooting in this quiet Mississauga neighborhood. Now, the suspect, who is considered armed and dangerous, has been on the loose since that shooting, and it's been 10 days. A Canada-wide warrant has been issued for his arrest as multiple police forces in Ontario are on the hunt for Michael Cleghorn. It's, it's been more quieter. Mm -hmm. Even my, I'm scared to send my kids outside. Like I'm not watching through it. If I'm walking with them, park is quiet. You know, not a lot of kids are coming. And that's because of what happened here? What happened, yes, yes. I, I can say that for sure because of the incident, everyone is scared. Residents on Apple Blossom Circle have had to nurse many sleepless nights since August 13th. The shooting in their neighborhood is just part of a piece in multiple investigations. So many things went to my mind. He could have come inside my house. My kids were home. He could have, uh, you know, harmed my sister-in-law because she was with a baby. It could go any, any way possible. Part of the violent series of events captured on surveillance cameras showing a man and woman in the laneway near Mavis and Eglinton. The man holding a cloth around his arm, believed to be a wound. They turn the corner and begin arguing. The woman then pulls out what appears to be a knife. And minutes later, shots go off. He flees. She's transported to hospital in non-life-threatening condition. Ten days later, he's still on the loose. I'm scared that he's out there somewhere. Maybe he'll come back to this area. Not too far away, another surveillance camera then shows the suspect on a bike followed by a police cruiser. The officer gets out, running after him. A fight ensued. A taser is fired. The officer also shoots into an idling police cruiser the suspect used to flee the scene. That vehicle is later located with bullet holes. Because of this specific incident, the province's police watchdog is now investigating. The SIU says evidence in the cruiser indicates the suspect may have sustained an injury. Do Peel police know where Michael Cleghorn is? We don't, which is why we've actually issued a Canada-wide warrant for his arrest and for multiple charges, but the main one is that attempt to murder. Peel police say the suspect, Michael Cleghorn, also stole another vehicle, a 2013 white Hyundai Santa Fe SUV with the license plate AYVL950. Any idea of where he could be? Could he still be here in Peel region? Is it a possibility? Absolutely. But at this point, we haven't had anything to indicate that at this point. Cleghorn is described as black, six feet three inches tall, weighing 180 pounds. He's also wanted in connection to a 2017 beating death of a 21-year-old man in Thunder Bay and also wanted by Toronto police for the alleged sexual assault involving a child from 2014 to 2015. We're even pulling video footage from every area that we can and then we have to examine that footage to see how was he moving, was, what direction was he going in, so that we keep following him and hopefully we'll get him sooner than later. Once he's caught, then I think it will be a sign of relief for us that, okay, it's done. He's behind the bars and then we are, have, we are in peace, peace now. But uh, until then, we are all are scared. Now, we also reached out to the Special Investigations Unit. All a spokesperson would tell us is that they're still investigating. Uh, and a message to the public, according to police, Cleghorn is considered armed and dangerous. He should not be approached. If you do see him, you're encouraged to contact police.